Classic Game Room is brought to you by Ethel the Cyborg Ninja, Book 1, and Jesus the Coked Up Chicken Number 1, Special Edition, now on Amazon. Back Classic Game Room on Patreon! Banished from Earth Classic Game Room broadcasts from the Intergalactic Space Arcade on its never-ending mission to review everything. Cue the incredible Sega Genesis intro music because it's time for G-Lock Air Battle. The music has a bit of a Technosoft vibe to it, and the game has a lot of an Afterburner vibe since it is from Yu Suzuki. Visit the U Arcade, you. I hear that place is always full of sailors, so what do we have here? A game that's like Afterburner, but not quite as good. I'll just get right to the point. G-Lock is a fun game on the Genesis, but not Afterburner 2 quality. It does have some very enthusiastic dialogue, though. Uh-oh, it's like the landing sequence in Top Gun, except a thousand times easier. J just move left and right. It's hard to miss the giant aircraft carrier in front of you. G-Lock is an arcade-style flight action game where your objective is to blow up a required number of targets before the time runs out. It's just that simple. Or is it? It, it really is just that simple. You go into each mission with a certain number of missiles and bombs, and you start out by trying to machine gun as many enemies as possible so you don't waste your missiles and then use your missiles on the tough ones later and then bomb the ground targets. It's a fun game, but it lacks that certain something special that makes Afterburner so good. This one does have some interesting features though. In between some levels, the camera pulls back from the cockpit view to a behind the plane view, which is actually way more difficult in this game. It's harder to machine gun enemies from this perspective, so save your missiles. This is the part where I use all my missiles. And uh, while this game starts off very easy, it does get difficult after a couple missions, once the enemies actually start shooting back at you. The ground attack sequences don't add much to the game at all and seem a bit out of place. G-Lock Air Battle actually reminds me of another game on the Genesis called Air Diver. There's, uh, there's actually quite a few games like this from, from this era. And it's fun because in contrast to Afterburner, instead of just surviving and blowing things up for points, you have to attack enemies in G-Lock, or else you can't make it to the next level. It's like, they're like checkpoints in driving games. And obviously as you keep flying, you have to blow up more and more enemies. I like this one, but it has some stiff competition on the Genesis. Doesn't cost you much though, so you may as well head it to your collection if you like these flight action games. The music is really good, the graphics look nice. It's a relatively easy game to dive into and start playing, but difficult to master once you get to the levels where you have to start shooting down 30 enemies and you run out of missiles. As you may have noticed, you replenish your weapons in between each level with the points that you score. You don't have lives in this game, so feel free to get destroyed as many times as you want. 
Missiles and bullets won't hurt you, but your watch sure will. Run out of time and it's game over in G-Lock Air Battle. Classic Game Room is brought to you by Ethel the Cyborg Ninja, Book 1, and Jesus the Coked Up Chicken Number 1, Special Edition, now on Amazon. Welcome to the Lord Carnage Club being shouted from within. A Turbo, Turbo Volcano! Starting with Andy and Abby Schleiss. <laughs> Jeff Breyer. <laughs> Derek Langley. <laughs> Michael and Ariana Nelson. <laughs> Benjamin Woodring. Benjamin Woodring. Steven Chucknick. Steven Chucknick. Al Stever. Al Stever. Ian Shore. You sure are awesome. Jason Gore. Jason Gore. Sergio Matthias Hergert. Sergio Matthias Hergert. Chip Sink Bell. Chip Sink Bell. Busy Signal. Sean Zoltek. Sean Zoltek. Rick DeBarros. Rick DeBarros. Philip Straubenmuller. Philip DeBarros. Jack Stavros. Rick Stavros. Ohad Kane. And Tiago Pereira dos Santos Silva from Porto. Portugal. Tiago Pereira dos Santos Silva from Porto, Portugal. <laughs>